Hi everyone, in today's video, we will discuss this program and we will compile this C program on Linux operating system using GCC compiler and we will use VI editor to edit this code and create a .c file. So before we jump into Linux stuff, let me, yeah, so this program will run infinite times. Basically, this will keep on printing cppbuzz.com. Uh, it will not be forever or I should say, I should say until stack overflows, until the memory is not, exa is, uh, not exhausted. So this will keep on running. So before you run this program with while one, so instead of, oh yeah, so before you run this program with while one, be ready to, you know, uh, have this printed uh, infinite times or uh, like it will keep on going for some time and uh, and instead of using while one you can also put any condition here which resolves to true I will talk about those condition while you know running while debug while compiling this code so for that let me first log into my let me open my uh, Linux terminal so I have I'm using mobile extrem here which is one SSH client it's similar to it's like uh, putty what we use so I have logged into my virtual machine I'm I'm I have created virtual machine for my Linux and uh, and from Windows I you know logged into my Linux machine using this mobile extrem uh, application so let me let's create one directory first so that we can keep our .c file into the directory. I will just name it Monday. I'll go inside this using Monday command. And then let me create a file using VI editor. So instead of VI, you can use Veeam, you can use gedit. But here we'll be using VI, VI editor. And the syntax is VI editor, then we have to put or give a file name. Let's say we'll give we will give a file name main.c. You can give it any name, any name.c file, and then I will hit enter. After that, I need to I need to change the mode to insert mode. So I will press I for that from the keyboard, and you will see this insert message here. After this, what I will do is if I want to write a program from a sketch, I can start typing in, or since the code is already here, I will just copy from here and do a right click here anywhere on this VI editor and just say OK and so this we have program here so to run this program we have to include the header file otherwise we will get some compilation error okay the compilation error would be like printf not defined something like that so let me run this program so this our code is ready let me save it how we can save on VI is I need to press escape from keyboard and shift colon then wq wq stands for write and quit i'll press enter so this file is there now i need to compile it using gcc so the syntax is gcc file name and then hyphen o main dot out hyphen o stands for like when you want to specify the output file we can use hyphen o if you do not want to specify the output file like if you just want to compile this like this it you will get the binary but by default it will have name a dot out so we can try that let me compile it see so we have some kind of compilation in the code i can go back and fix it i i i missed to add closing angular bracket i'll close it one more time and just save again compile it has been compiled now to make sure the the code has compiled successfully i will check the content of this directory and i should see the binary name a dot out so this is the default file binary file generated by gcc compiler now other option is if you do not want it to be default file name then i can specify i can change the file name by by making use of hyphen o hyphen o means o stands for object file and i can say main dot out so this will generate a file main dot out so if i want to see the output yeah so i have two files so i will not use this older file so i can delete it a dot out Anyway, if I if, anyway, if I'm keeping both, I will not see any difference. Both uh, binaries are going to give same output. So now the next task is to run this file. How can I run? I can say dot slash. That is forward slash main dot out. If I run this, you will see this 
cpbus.com message is being printed continuously so if it happens with you and you want to stop this program you just you just need to press control c so control c is just on linux control is c is just interrupt to stop the program any running program so this is how it is now now if you want to see what is the end output of it you can keep this have or keep it or have this program keep on running and you can observe what it how it behaves on your machine on on your operating system and let me tell you one more thing here let me enable line number by doing set new here line number five this message is printed continuously or infinite time because we are using while one one is true condition that's why it is printing infinite time this loop is never ending we don't have any condition to stop the loop if i if i say while zero that means this while loop will not run any number of time because this is zero let me save it and run it so i'll compile one more time again it has compiled i'll clear the screen to sorry i'll clear the screen and run the program again run this binary again i'll see it is not printing anything because it is happening because we are saying while zero while zero means false or it should to to run this value we should always have some you know true condition here so in there, instead of saying zero if i say zero equal to equal to zero that resolves to true in that case also this while loop will run infinite times because this condition is true we can try that let me save this file compile it again and run it this so you'll see this keep on printing so i will stop it by pressing ctrl c and i'll open this file one more time so zero equal to zero that resolves to true condition and since it is true while true when we have while true this this loop will run infinite time instead of saying this zero equal to one you can also say one equal to one so anything which resolves to true condition which any statement which resolves to true it will be infinite loop now instead of doing zero one equal to one if i say zero equal equal to one that means condition false in that case this while loop will never run okay so this is how you can play around and the one more logical thing is that if i if i say one equal to one but i terminate this loop by you know by adding a semicolon at the end that means this is true condition and this while loop will run infinite times but it will not print anything it will never print anything because what will happen is control will never come out of this loop and it will keep on running and this block and this block will not be part of it because we have used semicolon here let's run it let's see how it happens we will should see a blank screen i'll combine one more time i'll run this file so you see it's not printing anything because what is happening the, the while loop is running infinite times and since we have terminated the while loop by using semicolon the next block which was like opening and opening braces and print up statement then closing bracket is it, it is not part of it and it will be never printed so if i stop this program you will not see any output because while when while was running we stopped it in the middle and the program stopped at this line and it never the control never came to this block that's why it will not print anything so this is what i wanted to explain in this video thanks for watching if you have any doubt in this in this code or example you can put your you can add your comment i'll be happy more than happy to reply you anytime and you can run this program on windows you can compile this on on any other compiler like on windows you can use dev c++ you can use visual studio and you can also try this program on mac operating system so thanks for watching